Before you start adding any solution to a burette, you want to make sure that your valve is completely perpendicular with the piece of glassware itself. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a funnel placed at the opening of your burette. Now what I'm trying to add is a sodium hydroxide solution. So I have my one molar sodium hydroxide solution and I'm going to add it very gradually to my burette. I know that I want to ultimately add about 50 milliliters, but what I'm gonna do is add a little bit and let it rest so that the burette begins to fill up. We'll fill up, a little bit more. And as you can see, it's beginning to come in frame. And there we go. Okay, that's almost spot on. That's almost exactly what I want. Now, in your bin, one thing that you'll notice that you have is you have this little card that has a green piece of, or it's a, a printed green region where you can hold that against your burette and see whether or not your meniscus is at 0, 0.0 milliliters. Now, I notice that mine is not, it's just below. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more sodium hydroxide, because I want my meniscus to line up perfectly with 0, 0.0 milliliters. Now, one of the things that's very hazardous whenever you're adding this sodium hydroxide solution is that you're adding this at a pretty high level. So taking that solution pretty high up in the air, there's a risk that you're going to let it flow through. Now, I'm gonna hold my green piece of paper up, and then I can see, yep, I've added too much sodium hydroxide. So I'll adjust my glassware, and then I'll put a vessel below my beaker, or below my uh, burette, to catch the solution. So I'm just going to adjust it. I'm gonna open the valve a little bit to let some of my sodium hydroxide flow through. And there we go, I got it exactly to 0, 0.0 milliliters. So I'm good, I feel all right about this.